this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark and the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranean. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right, if you're ready, let's play. Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend, or of course you can ask the audience. OK, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players, and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, you fancy another go at winning the million? OK, best of luck. Let's play. OK, for 100 quid, here's question number one. No problems there, it's correct. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. Absolutely correct. Well played. Here's question number three. It's worth £300. Congratulations. That's the right answer. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. No problems there, that's the right answer. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Absolutely spot on, well done. You've reached the first milestone, that's £1,000. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to 2000 Which 2003 New Zealand-made film is about a young Maori girl battling to become leader of her tribe? Dolphin Rider, Whale Rider, Shark Rider, Porpoise Rider. Nice one, it's the correct answer. Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. Who played his 1,000th professional tennis match when he beat Peter Luzak at Queen's in June 2003? Pete Sampras, Andre Agassi, Todd Martin, Richard Krijek. Only play this if you want to. You don't have to. It 
That's absolutely correct. Well done. OK, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. What is the common culinary name for laurel? Dill, Bay, Comfrey, Cherville. Now take care pressing those buttons. Congratulations, that's the right answer. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible 16,000 pounds. Of which country is Cape Finisterre the most westerly point? France, Portugal, Spain or Italy? Now, are you sure you drop £7,000 if you're wrong? Absolutely spot on. Well done. OK, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win 32000 guaranteed. On which island is the US military base at Guantanamo Bay? Guam, Cuba, Jamaica, Okinawa. So, you decided to ask the audience. Well, now, let's hope that they can help. Audience, on your keypads, please. All vote now. Congratulations, that's the right answer. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with £32,000, even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. In which TV programme did cast members from various soaps compete against each other in August 2003? Question of sport, Big Brother, Countdown, Stars in Their Eyes. Now there's no changing your mind once it's gone orange. Is that your final answer? You didn't have to play that, but I bet you're glad you did. It's correct. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. An image of which mountain appears on the packaging of Toblerone chocolate bars? Jungfrau, Eiger, Matterhorn, Mont Blanc. Take as long as you need. Absolutely spot on. Well done. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to £32,000. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. With which field of the arts is the critic Brian Sewell associated? Theatre, art, dance, or opera? Well played, you're absolutely right. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14, but think very carefully about what you want to do. Which of these US states does not share a land border with Canada? Idaho, Washington, Wyoming, 
or Vermont. That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. Fantastic, you have played a brilliant game so far and now you have 500,000 pounds. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. In the TV series, where does Hercule Poirot live? Falkenhurst Muse, Whitehaven Mansions, Queensgate Terrace or Edith Villas? Okay, let's try and make things a little easier for you. Computer, please take away two random wrong answers. Right, you've decided to phone a friend, but who do you think will know the answer to this one? Uh, I'm not sure I can help you here. Out of those, I'd probably pick C, but it'd be a guess. <laughs> Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic. What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranean, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs>